Welcome back to the hydro plant. It's part two of repairing our hydro plant. If you haven't seen part one, it basically just goes through what was damaged, which is this particular pipe right here, which is connected to our turbine and holds our nozzle in place. We brought in a welder. John helped us with the welding on this project, which was the main work that needed to be done, other than taking everything apart and putting it back together. And just to keep the lights on, this is the kind of stuff that we do on a semi-regular basis. If this is something that interests you, I'm going to ask you to leave a comment below. If enough of you are interested, we'll also keep you updated on things like improvements and maintenance. And with that out of the way, we can get right into putting the plant back together. So, uh, the test fit of the pipe, Perfect. Nice. Bolts line right up. That's I a put huge bolts relief. On both sides, yeah, that's so. a big relief. Low lights include laying on my belly in the mud, trying to clean out the uh, seal around the bottom of the Pelton wheel housing, basically scraping out mud with my bare fingers. Our weld is in place. So it was pretty awesome that we had John there to do that for us because me and David were doing that. It would not have looked that nice. I think there's a reason why you don't see hoists like this anymore. I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing lowered. Oh, I mean, even when you're doing it right, you think you're doing it wrong. So I've dug up the bolts on this side and these bolts line right up. I don't like crawling in mud. No one does, but it shouldn't. I'm kind of struck in this whole process, just like the cost of going, you know, like environmentally friendly. It's like, we got our own power plant. It's all great, but could be working, but we're not working. Right. We're fixing our power plant. Yeah. You think you trade like, you know, your day to day price of electricity for uh, maybe three, four or five days a year uh, plus materials. So Mike's just building a gasket between the plates of steel. This should help with corrosion and it should help with seal overall, but mainly corrosion, which is our, what we're fighting when we're using steel. Steel feels pretty affordable when compared to like trying to find plastic that could handle the forces. And Aluminum that's thick enough. It's probably plastic now, but in 1986 when this was made, yeah, it probably was not something readily available. Mm -hmm. It's done well. Like we can't complain about it, how it's worked so far. Yeah. <sighs> Rust hates paint. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they paint vehicles. <laughs> yeah. the nozzles set so with the bolts in that should seal up nicely David makes a gasket to the light of his headlamp <laughs> centers or try and do the whole thing it's hard to do the whole thing with this marker you know what I have it's right back okay. mm, industrial red one right here too. How one we might we just wanna there. Nice. Okay. Doesn't that pattern look really weird? Yeah. It's bizarre to just hold all over the place. This so Mike's working on putting in the gasket. We just fabbed up. I just having to look around the powerhouse and realizing there's like remnants of every rapid repair we've done over the last like 20 years in here. Someday we should do like a super good cleanup. Before I uh, do too much with these things, we should get some bolts in this other part. Yeah, a little bit more down. Yeah. Okay, get in there. Yes. Okay. 
only way I can do that is because double jointed thumbs. We've got yeah. three belts on. We've got a brand new pulley, well, new, new used pulley, which you've locked on there. Locked and loaded. Belts are tight, it taunt. No That's how we add tension to the belts, was we just push the generator away from the turbine. And then this just is, has a much shorter grease nipple now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To-do list. That's a to-do list thing then. Yeah. It's actually looking pretty good. This is the part that was broken and now it looks like brand new, which is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you found the white wire, you got the white wire back on the white terminal. Yeah, it was a little bit of a um, guessing game in the end. I thought I had it pretty clear, but then I realized one of the other connections had double black tape on it. So I had double black taped this connection. But, and then I'm like, oh, now there's two that have double black tape. So oh, nice I should have checked. Can you theoretically test that bef without running the power plant? I can. Yeah, so I can hook up be, the battery. And that might be a good way to start. Yeah. This is used to control the deflector, which is inside the turbine. So basically there's a stream of water going across this, this plane and then a small shield with a curve in it is gonna come up and slice into some of that water and just take some of it away from the cups which are inside this pelton. So if I increase the power, it should make it go that way. Yeah. Decrease so, power. Let me show you what's happening on the other side here. So we've got this uh, Carson Electronics and it has a manual deflector control in it. Oh. So inside there, there's some fancy stuff that's controlling this motor. And then we've got just a threaded rod, just a classic threaded rod. And this is pushing the lever. When people see it, often the first thing they ask is how long will it run with before you have to turn it off? <laughs> and I'm usually like, years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So inaugural test run, we're just doing a quick checklist to make sure we have everything that we should have. We need the water turned on. Checks are complete on the power plant. So now we're just gonna run up to the pen stock. So we lost our tool, we had a special tool for curling the boards up. I had to pull them out with my hands. We don't want to do that. So this is the only chance we're gonna get for me to get that tool out, but it's in about like two feet of water. Take one for the team a little bit here. Whoa. my hands warmed up again. Yeah, that stings, I'll bet. Okay, so we're just trying to put the dam back together here and fill the pipe with water. It was fully drained, so we don't want it to hit the valve too hard, so we're just gonna fill the pipe kind of slow. escaping the pipe so water goes in the pipe and then air has to come out somewhere so it usually comes back up the top the screen is underwater but it's only four inches underwater it looks like hey? yeah it's sort of enough. all right the water is back on let's check how much is leaking That valve is leaking a lot. Our system uses a, a load dump, so any excess power has to go somewhere. So we just heat some water and dump the water back down into the creek.
learned a lot while I was doing all this so it's good. how things are put together it's what good. things go where yeah now we know we're supposed to read the book it's a book where you enter all this information and then for the last two years it's been like greased we greased it that's all that's every in there every month it yeah. gets greased so we've been doing our regular maintenance which is good but there's like no like important updates whereas if you go back in the book my uncle was more he would look at the plant more than just grease it and I went back in the book and I found that like two years ago he found the crack running all the way around the uh, pipe that we just welded. So this, he already knew about it. He wrote it down in the book, but he was like, it's in a low pressure spot. So really there's not too much, you know, to yeah, worry about there. Yeah, making the floor A little wet. bit more water on the floor type thing. Well, it must have separated a bit more recently because there was a big crack. And uh, yeah, we were, you know, full panic mode there for a yeah. couple days, but Really, it was all in the book and he saw it coming like two years ago. And we've learned a lot more about how our generator is wired up as well through this whole process. Yeah, so. there's some neat things in there. Yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, order some new bearings because one of them is yeah. tired and, and now we can all take the weekend off and yeah, or something like that. Actually, I have to go Bring to California clothes. like tomorrow, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See how messed up our clothes got in that whole experience. Like Mike's, where my jacket should Mike's be. jacket's gone a several hues darker there. I'm gonna close this door. Yeah. I'm gonna switch my house over.